are we still friends? And those of you uh, church, church members in all the locations, are we still friends? Praise the Lord. Develop yourself. Be a total man. Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 13. The cloak that I left at trust. This is Paul the Apostle. So that we all look up to right now. The cloak that I left at trust with support. Also, with couples. When thou comest, bring with thee and the book. And the book that, but especially the parchment. You see there. Even Paul was studious. Be a man of prayer. Somebody be a man of prayer. Spend time in prayer. Stop all this mechanized religious way. Be spiritual. First Thessalonians 5 17, pray without season. Remain in fellowship. Some of you are always jumping from one church to another church, from another church to another church. That will not help you. Yes, study, but stay. Stay in your family. Don't just be jumping from one family to another family. Hebrews 10, 25, forsake not the assembly of yourself together as a manner of some is. Yes, a church family. And don't just belong to a church. Please pay attention to it. And I pray God will give you understanding in Jesus' name. Don't just be a member of the church. Be a member of the church family. There are two different things. Be a member of the church family. Make the church your family. Have people in the church that you can relate with as family member. Let our relationship not be limited to the four corners of the, of the walls of the church. We meet in church, how that mean? As a total man, Jesus said, behold, I give unto you. Huh? Huh? Ah, uh, somebody say power. What are you doing with the power at your age? At your age, at your age, what are you doing with the power? I was just about 22 years old, maybe 21, 22. When the Lord used me to raise the dead, just about that age, the Lord used me to pray for somebody, a woman I never knew from anywhere, always on the street, a man, a woman, mentally delayed, always there, wearing all kinds of jaka jaka clothes. But when I realize this, that God has given unto me in the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the paths of the enemy, and that nothing shall my enemies hurt me, I was not afraid whether the mad person was going to bite me because they say, once a mad person bites you, you become crazy yourself. At that point, I forgot about that. Openly, I went to the mad woman. I laid my hands upon In the name of Jesus, be healed. Attempt to perform miracle. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Attempt 40s, no matter your age, even if you're a teenager here, up 
in the last days, I will pour out of my flesh, uh, of my spirit, upon, upon all flesh. You are human. You are a child of God. You are completely here. You have the anointing, the unction, and the power of the Holy Ghost. Use it, say somebody, use it. These are the days of Elijah. These are the days of the prophets. It's enough of hiding. Because Elijah refused to show up, Ahab began to do nonsense in the land. But as soon as Elijah showed up, he put an end to the activities of Satan, of Ahab, of Jezebel. You are the woman of the hour. You are the man of the hour. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my time is fast, fast gone, but character will get with character today. It's a composition of who you are that will distinguish you from other people. Since we get with that, I won't go too much into that. Attitude is very key. Attitude is very important. Your attitude will determine your altitude in life. Yes, I have aptitude. I have the gift. I have the talent. I can do this. Aptitude. If your attitude is bad or good, that is what will determine your altitude, how far you go in life. So, be a man and a woman of a good attitude. Learn to smile. What did I just say? You know, back in the days, we used to think to be holy is to frown. To be holy is to be moody. To be holy is not, is to, is not to talk to anybody. To be holy is to put your hands on your back and walk gigantically. Amen. Praise the Lord. To be holy is to carry your Bible upon your... Tell somebody smile. Just tell somebody, be nice. Tell somebody, be kind. Amen. Tell somebody, be selfless. Attitude will determine your altitude. And then your finance, work on your finance. Work on your finance. I listen to a, a man of God. Uh, a bishop, a Ibiyomi. And he said this, and I quote. You know, we Africans, we don't like to quote other Africans. We prefer to quote this American, this, this German that. Amen. As if God is not using Africans. Change your attitude. Tell somebody, change your attitude. God is using Africans. Amen. Ibiyome said, and I quote, hardship cannot be globally averted, but you can personally avoid it if you practice what the Bible says and teaches. The finance. Go to the Bible from time immemorial there has always been poor people. In every nation, look at America, all the nations of the world look. The, of the world are looking up to America, but there are still poor people in America. It cannot be globally abated. That is a very strong statement. But personally, you can distinguish yourself. You can say to yourself, I will not be poor. I will not be barren. I will not be wretched. Ah, in the name of the Lord, I will not be a beggar. And yet this you gave, it shall be given back unto you. That's why, though you have a good job, you are still poor. You, you, you make good money.
only, but you are still a, a, a debtor. I refuse the spirit of poverty. Hello, somebody. I learned this and I said to myself, I will no more be a debtor. I will not be poor. I will not be barren. I will not be wretched. Ah, in the name of the Lord, I will not be a beggar. And yet this you gave, it shall be given back unto you. That's why, though you have a good job, you are still poor. You, you, you make good money, but you are still a, a, a debtor. I refuse the spirit of poverty. Hello, somebody. I learned this and I said to myself, I will no more be a debtor. There was a time I used to carry as many as seven credit cards. You hear, now you hear, you hear, you say, ah. When you have trouble, you will get there. But I can tell you today, I am delivered. See? I am delivered. Once I was bound by this. But now. Those days I used to be happy. They gave me zero percent for one year. And then you keep spending and you don't realize that by the end of one year, everything will be compounded together. And then your debt increases. May you be delivered in Jesus' name. Say to yourself, I release myself from every spirit of indebtedness. I exonerate myself from the company of the beggars. God said in blessing, I will bless you. I receive the blessing of the Almighty. The Bible says that a borrower is a slave to the lender. Every time you are borrowing, I don't care why you are borrowing from man or from government or from the bank or from uh, anywhere, you become a slave. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Please look up here. Look up here. The Lord was saying to Abraham, look. Look. Look to your eyes. Look to your legs. Look ahead. Look at behind you. For as much as you can see, you are possessing them. Look into your future. Look in, into your career. Look into your family. Look into your academics. Look into everything and see yourself positioned. Bora is a slave to the lender. Every time you are borrowing, I don't care why you are borrowing from man or from government or from the bank or from uh, anywhere, you become a slave. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed forever. Please look up here, look up here. The Lord was saying to Abraham, look, look. Look to your right, look to your legs, look ahead, look at behind you. For as much as you can see, you are possessing them. Look into your future, look in, into your career, look into your family, look into your academics, 
Look into everything and see yourself positioned on the pinnacle of success in life. See yourself as that managing director. See yourself as that medical doctor. See yourself as that surgeon. See yourself as that pilot. Begin to see. Somebody says, see it. Say it. And seize it. It is what you see that you say. It is what you say that you see. You are possessing your destiny. Expand. The Lord is saying, from where you are, from where, that's what he said to Abraham. He said, from where you are, I don't care your current situation. I don't care your current circumstances. I don't care your family situation. I don't care your financial situation. I don't even care about your health situation. The Lord said, from where you are, look. Somebody said, look. And you will live. And you will live. Think outside of the box. See your destination before you even begin the journey. Look from your state of poverty, from your state of enlarge my course, and that thy hand will be with me, divine partnership. And that thou will keep me from evil deliverance from every hour, and that it may not grieve me. And God granted, rise upon your feet. Rise upon your feet. As you're rising upon your feet, I preach a message sometimes ago, I don't remember, two years ago, three years ago, I don't remember. And that message I, I gave you, the, the, the acronym of CEO. CEO. And I told you the letter C stands for customer's attitude. If that's what you have for your life, you'll never go far. Because that is still not a total man's attitude. Some have the employee's attitude E. If that's what you have, you will never, never go far in life. But you need the letter C. The, uh, the, uh, the uh, what do I call it now? The letter, the letter O, the owner's attitude. Take ownership of your life. Stop blaming your brother, your sister, your father, your mother, your uncle, your church. Stop blaming others. Take ownership of your life. Ownership attitude. Oh, that thou will bless me indeed. Desire to be a total man. Make a decision to be a total man. Determine to be a total man. Dedicate yourself for that totality. Discipline yourself. Every successful man in life will discipline one way or the other. Be diligent and disconnect yourself from destiny destroyers. The total man. God has given unto us all that pertains to life and godliness. Godliness. Close your eyes. The total man. The total man. Not by work of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. Not my work of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. <laughs> Not my work of righteousness, but Jesus did it all. So I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in him. I am complete in him. Complete, complete, complete in Him. I am complete in Examine yourself right now. What is it that makes you incomplete in Christ Jesus? Sin will separate you from God. Sin will sever your destiny away from you. Sin will secure your place in hell. In poverty. Sin will disconnect you from the righteous, the holy, and the sins of the Lord. What is it making you incomplete?
lusting, fornication, immorality, anger, bitterness, rebellion, disobedience, laziness, procrastination, witchcraft, obstinacy. What is it that is making you incomplete? You can become that total man. Possess with the fullness of God. I'm possessing the fullness of God. You can declare to the all to Jesus, I surrender. All to him I freely give. You can declare, Lord, today I surrender myself and life unto you. Religion will not save anybody. Only righteousness will pay at the end of the day. And yet it's a decision of the moment that will determine the destination of the future. The decision of the moment will determine the, test, the, 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 the destination that will make the difference. It's not enough to be in the church. You must be in the Lord. Cry out. The total man. He created us in his own image. Yes, we lost it in Eden, but we recover it back in Christ Jesus. Declare, I possess the nature of Christ. I possess the nature of God. I possess the life of God. I possess the beauty of the Lord. I possess the power of the Almighty. I possess the character, the character of my maker. I part ways with sin. I part ways with lies. I part ways with deception. I part ways with immorality. I part ways with deception. Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling me to this life of totality in Christ Jesus. Yes, we are complete in Him. Complete in Him. Complete in Him. The endless expectation of creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. I claim the perfect nature of the Almighty right now. I renounce indiscipline in my life. I cast away intolerance. I jettison insubordination. I cut myself off from iniquity, from insincerity. I receive the nature of Christ in me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. 
I am who God says I am. I will do what God says I will do. I will be who God says I will be. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and not beneath. I will mount up with wings as eagles. The word of God will dwell on the inside of me. I will be filled with the spirit of the almighty God. I will live a disciplined life, a studious life, a prayerful life. My family life will be built upon the foundation of the word of God. He that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtained the favor of the Lord. I will not marry in rebellion. I will not marry in disobedience. I will not bring any cause upon my life. My life will not be limited. I will expand to the right, to the left, front and back. I will possess my possession. I receive the grace to prosper. I wish above all things that thou mayest be in health and prosper, even as I so prosper. I will prosper in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless my outgoing and incoming in. The Lord will bless my uprising and down sitting. The Lord will make me to be unique and special in my generation. I possess the power to build my health, my wealth. The power to build my health. The power to build my spiritual life. Behold, I give unto you power. Every forces of darkness and powers of darkness militating against my life, against my progress, against my peace, I destroy them in the name of Jesus. I am not a non-entity. I am not a coincidence. I am not an accident. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a man of purpose. I'm a woman on a mission. I will accomplish destiny in the name of Jesus. Everything holding me back, everything holding me bound, I cancel and destroy them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Quietness. All eyes closed. All heads bowed. Obedience begins from there. Simple instruction. You are making right your life with God. You're asking the Lord to restore you back to his original plan of that nature of the Almighty. You're repenting from all the wrongs of your life. You're not comparing yourself with A or B or C or D. And you say, Lord, 
I am that man, that woman in the need of prayer. Just lay your hand upon your chest. Don't raise it up. Just lay it upon yourself. I say, Lord Jesus, I surrender myself unto you. Have mercy. I'm sorry for my transgressions. I repent of my trespasses. Forgive my foolishness. Have mercy upon me. Lord, in judgment, remember mercy. Restore me back to, to your very nature. Make me your own. Wash me clean. With the precious blood of Jesus, make me whole. Give me another chance, Lord, to showcase your glory. Another opportunity for my name to be back in the book of life. Receive me. Restore me. Renew me. Revive me. And reuse me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for answering me. In Jesus' name I pray. Father, I pray for all the brothers and sisters, both in this room right now, and in all, all the churches, these that are reconnecting with you, repenting of their sins, their transgressions, their foolish actions, behavior, make me your own. Wash me clean. For the precious blood of Jesus, make me whole. Give me another chance, Lord, to showcase your glory. Another opportunity for my name to be back in the book of life. Receive me. Restore me. Renew me. Revive me. And reuse me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for answering me. In Jesus' name I pray. Father, I pray for all the brothers and sisters, both in this room right now and in all the churches, these that are reconnecting with you, repenting of their sins, their transgressions, their foolish actions, behaviors, conduct, and character, realizing that you are the Almighty God, that pardoned iniquity, that forgiveth sin. Oh Lord, I pray that you look down from heaven because of your promise that says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Father, look down from heaven. Do as you have said in Jesus' name. Forgive their sin. Blot out their iniquities. Overlook their transgression. Wash them clean with the blood of Jesus. Receive them back into your kingdom. And let the joy of salvation and the peace that comes with it be their portion now in Jesus' name. Every hold of darkness in their life. The spirit of rising and falling. I banish from their lives now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. And for everybody together, Lord. It's a new day. And for all the married people, under the sound of my voice, 
listening now, or that will be listening later on, every affliction in the family, every oppression in the family, every limitation in the family, oh Lord, oh God, look down from heaven. Have mercy upon your people and liberate every family now in Jesus' name. Let the peace of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the strength of the Lord, the glory of the Lord, the power of the Lord uh, come upon every family now in Jesus' name. Shin in debt. Maybe because of school fees, because of mortgage, uh, because of carelessness, uh, because of indecision, whatever it may be that has gotten them to where they, they are. You told Abraham from where you are, look up, look forward. Father, I pray that as they look to their land of prosperity, to their land of blessing, to their land of promotion, to their land of financial peace. Oh Lord, take them there in Jesus' name. Every weight of indebtedness weighing them down, I command, be removed now in Jesus' name. Father, I call upon you. Everyone struggling with their career. They want to succeed. At this point, they're even afraid of going to school. They're even afraid of sitting in a class. Academic is now like a terror to them. Lord God, and those that have job, but things are not working as expected, all these people that academically or, or career-wise. Lord, every affliction, oppression, and the torment of the enemy, I cancel now in Jesus' name. I lose your people. I release your people from the bounds of wickedness, from the chains and tackles of the devil. I set them free now in Jesus' name. Brother, go and succeed. Sister, go and succeed. Mount up with wings as eagle and begin to fly higher and higher and higher in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. For those that sickness and infirmity is limiting, hindering them, limiting them, preventing them from moving forward. Jesus came to set the captive free. I come against every captivity of affliction, of oppression, of sickness, of diseases. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Because of your blood group, your blood type, your genotype. You said, there is no hope for me. I declare right now, every hopeless situation in that brother, in that sister, be reversed now in Jesus' name. Make ways, even where there is no way. Bring the right brother, bring the right sister. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Father, for under the affliction of the devil, the torment of the enemy, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness, high places, demonic spirits, demonic husband, demonic wife, evil covenants made in the time of unknown, time of ignorance, covenant in the water, covenant in the air, covenant on the street, covenant in the forest, any covenant that is not of the Lord, I break right now in Jesus' name. Covenant of death, I break in Jesus' name. Covenant of barrenness, I break in Jesus' name. Covenant of failure in life, I break in Jesus' name. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. I declare the wealth of God, the prosperity of God, physically, financially, materially, matrimonially, spiritually, in all areas of their life. Prosper in Jesus' name. 
succeed in Jesus' name. Progress in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And for all this, our young adults, single brothers and sisters, I pray that special wisdom, knowledge, understanding, anointing of the Lord, the unction to function, come upon them. Come upon them. Come upon them in the name of Jesus. And for all our members and workers and leaders and pastors all over, I pray, Father, that the power as of old will come upon everyone in Jesus' name. I told them, Lord, I was very young, just in my early 20s. When you began to do wonders through me, any of them are older than my age that time. Lord, Lord, you said I send unto you the promise of my father. I declare right now that the promise of the Lord, the power of the Lord that says, I give unto you power. I give unto you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Let their power be made manifest in the lives of every member of this church now in Jesus' name. No more shall we be limited. No more shall we be under oppression. No more shall we be under affliction. No more shall we be under the manipulation of the devil in Jesus' name. You said these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they cast out devils. When they lay their hands upon the sea, they will recover. Father, fulfill it now. Fulfill it now. Fulfill it now. On our job, in our school, in our community, they will know that we have encountered our God in Jesus' name. Total man. Total woman. Complete in him, fulfilled in him, prosperous in him, so we are in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are doing it for Jesus, you can do better. If you are doing it for Jesus, you can do better. Hallelujah. At this moment, I want you to take our Father in the Lord in prayers and pray that the Lord will bless him. Pray that the Lord will serve, will fill up everything that he has lost in terms of virtue. I want you to pray for him. That the Lord will multiply his anointing upon his life more revelation of scriptures, more intimacy with Christ, that he will advance in his walk with God. Pray and talk to God for renewed strength, renewed strength. For Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. You can have your seats in God's presence really quickly. I want to start by um, welcoming those that just joined the f being the man responsible for the souls of men could be very, very demanding. But that the grace of the Lord will be sufficient. In his weakness, you will experience the strength of Christ. The Holy Spirit will be his comfort, his succor guardian in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. We worship you. For of you. Amen. So please go to the back right now. We want to have your details. We want to follow up with you. We want to um, guide you on how to grow in your Christian journey. And
Um, also, if this is your first time coming, please rise up on your feet. This is your first conference. It's the first service. I don't see you clapping. I don't see you clapping. I don't see you clapping. Uh, hallelujah. Wow. This is wonderful. And you are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see, we can see all over you the glory of the Lord. Sister Taiwo. You Sister Christiana. Praise the Lord. I know it's a lot of us. Uh, we might not be able to go one by one now, but please, can you please go towards the back real quick? Just take the uh, next step. So just move towards the back, towards the registration stand. We'll get your details and follow up with you, please. Let's clap for them as they go. Sister Christina, Sister Taiwo, please attend to them towards the registration stand. While we are doing that, I want you to please raise up.